Uganda's journey for nuclear power production has officially commenced here in Buyende district in the Busoga sub-region with the launch of the Resettlement Action Plan. Resettlement Action Plan WAP study is conducted and implemented to enhance the development impact of the project and thereby improve the living standards of affected people. The momentous occasion in Kasato village, Kidera sub-county Buyenda district was officiated by Honorable Rebecca Kadaga, the first Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister for East African Community Affairs. Buyenda district is set to host one of the four multi-billion dollar nuclear energy power plants. The construction of the 8,400 megawatts Buyenda nuclear project will require about 30.1 square kilometers of land. A, a nuclear power project entails many other auxiliary facilities. We are talking about storage facilities, water facilities, fuel facilities, uh, you know, the, 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 the power plant itself. We are talking about the, uh, you know, the, the treatment facilities and all those. So all those facilities require that big area of land. And, uh, well, we looked at the district of Biende, the Kasato uh, village, where we are looking at uh, stationing the plant. But also we are looking at the other surrounding villages, uh, about 10 of them, that will be uh, affected. This revelation from the technocrats sparked mixed reactions with some local leaders and members of the public expressing concerns and skepticism about the project's impact. But for us we are not happy because we don't know. If they take our people somewhere, yeah, where will they get money? That is why our people are not ready to welcome this project in our, our area of Kasato. Today we have aluminium here at Kasato. Around Lake, uh, Lake Choga we have oil. Uh, now, this is a great challenge of migration. Hmm? Uh, another one, we need a massive uh, mobilization and education about the compensation. It is an inevitable reality that projects of such magnitude comes with the challenge of resettling people from areas where they currently live and work. Honorable Kadaga emphasized the need for a collaborative approach to ensure the resettlement process is carried out with fairness and respect for affected communities. My question is the livelihood of these people after all of this is put in place. They have stopped farming because they are not sure. We are chasing them from this area. That's why there needs to be urgency in the completion of this consultation. To complete this consultation. So, food insecurity. So, the issue of livelihood is very, very important. The Energy Policy for Uganda 2023 recognizes that by 2040, Uganda will require approximately 52,481 megawatts of electricity with 24,000 megawatts generated from nuclear energy. Dennis Igoa for UBC News.